Did you know that the way you manage your energy can significantly impact your happiness and well-being? In a world that often feels chaotic and demanding, understanding how to cultivate positivity and resilience is more crucial than ever. If you want to thrive in your personal and professional life, you need to embrace the power of self-respect, set clear boundaries, and nurture your sense of humor. In this video, we'll explore essential strategies for fostering a more fulfilling life, from cutting out negative energy to intentionally managing your resources. We'll dive into the significance of living your values and the strength that comes from integrity. Each segment is designed to spark curiosity and reflection, helping you discover practical tools that can transform your daily experiences. So, if you're ready to enhance your connections, boost your confidence, and cultivate joy, stick around. Let's embark on this journey together as we unlock the secrets to creating a life that truly resonates with who you are. 1. Living your values. Imagine waking up every day with a clear sense of purpose, your heart light and full of joy. The sun peeks through your window, casting a golden hue on your morning routine. You smile at the reflection in the mirror, feeling good about the person looking back at you. You're ready to embrace the day because you know that each action you take reflects your core values. This feeling of alignment brings a happiness that is hard to shake, isn't it? But let's take a moment to delve deeper beyond this initial bliss. What does it really mean to live your values? Living your values isn't just about the occasional feel-good moment, it's a commitment to authenticity. It's about understanding what truly matters to you, be it honesty, kindness or courage, and then making choices that resonate with those principles. Think back to a time when you felt completely in tune with your beliefs. Perhaps it was a moment when you helped a stranger, stood up for someone in need, or even simply acted with integrity in a challenging situation. How did that make you feel? There's a warmth that comes with those memories, a sense of nostalgia for times when you felt so sure of yourself, when your actions mirrored your inner convictions. Now consider how easy it can be to drift away from this alignment in the chaos of daily life. It's not uncommon to feel pressure to conform, to prioritize convenience over integrity. But here's the thing, when we stray from our values, it can lead to feelings of discontent and restlessness. Have you ever experienced that nagging feeling that something just isn't right? It's like an itch you can't scratch, a deep-seated yearning for something more meaningful. This curiosity about how to reclaim that alignment is what can lead you on a journey of self-discovery. What if you could tap into that authentic self more consistently? What small choices can you make today that will reflect your values? 2. The Strength of Integrity Picture this, a time when you stood your ground, even when the world around you was swaying. The room was filled with differing opinions, and as you listened, you felt the pull of peer pressure, the temptation to simply go along to get along. But then, something inside you clicked. You remembered your values, and with that, you found your voice. That moment of courage was exhilarating, wasn't it? The sheer strength that comes from being true to yourself is unmatched and can spark a rush of happiness. But integrity goes beyond that moment of triumph. It's about the consistency of our actions over time. Think about those individuals you admire most in your life, friends, family, public figures. What do they all have in common? They embody integrity, standing firm in their beliefs even when it's unpopular. Reflecting on these role models can stir up feelings of nostalgia, can't it? Remember when you first encountered someone who inspired you through their unwavering integrity? Perhaps it was a teacher who always championed fairness, or a friend who never wavered in loyalty. Those memories remind us of the impact integrity can have on our lives and on those around us. Yet, as you reminisce, consider the challenges that come with maintaining integrity. 
it can often feel like standing alone against a tide of dissent. You might find yourself wondering, is it worth it? This curiosity about the balance between fitting in and being true to oneself is a common struggle. It raises questions that many of us grapple with at different stages in life. How do we cultivate that inner strength? How do we ensure that our actions are consistently in line with our values? This exploration into integrity is not just a journey of self-discovery, it's a quest for connection, a desire to understand how we can honor our truth while navigating the complexities of the world around us. 3. Choosing your battles wisely. Now, let's shift gears and imagine standing at a crossroads with various paths laid out before you. Some lead to conflict, while others offer peace. It's an exhilarating moment filled with potential, yet it also brings about a mix of anxiety and anticipation. We've all faced choices like this, when to engage and when to step back. It feels empowering to know that you have the choice, doesn't it? But the question looms, how do we determine which battles are worth fighting? Choosing your battles wisely is not just about avoidance, it's about strategy. Think back to a time when you fought passionately for something that mattered to you. Maybe it was a social cause, a belief you held dear, or a personal relationship you were determined to protect. The emotional highs of those moments can be intoxicating, filling you with a sense of purpose and connection, but then, there are the battles that drain you, the ones that leave you feeling defeated, questioning your energy and your motives. It's nostalgic to remember both the victories and the struggles, isn't it? Each experience shapes our understanding of what truly matters. As you reflect, consider the weight of this responsibility. It's not always easy to discern when to engage in conflict and when to let things slide. The curiosity that arises here is powerful. How do you decide what truly deserves your energy? Each person's journey is unique, and the answers may differ based on individual values and life experiences. This process of discernment invites you to think critically about your priorities. What causes or principles ignite a fire within you? Which situations provoke unnecessary stress? Delving into these questions can lead to profound insights about yourself and your approach to life's challenges. 4. Nurturing your wit. Imagine a moment where laughter fills the air, breaking through the tension of a serious conversation. You share a light-hearted joke and suddenly the atmosphere shifts. Everyone smiles and the burden of the day seems to lift, if only for a moment. That joy, that delightful connection comes from nurturing your wit. Isn't it amazing how a simple laugh can create a ripple effect of happiness? It's a reminder that humor isn't just about making others laugh. It's a powerful tool that can enhance our lives and relationships. But let's dive deeper. Nurturing your wit goes beyond just telling jokes. It's about cultivating a perspective that allows you to see the lighter side of life, even in the face of adversity. Think back to a time when humor helped you navigate a challenging situation. Perhaps it was during a stressful work presentation or a family gathering that turned tense. Those moments remind us of the resilience that comes with a good sense of humor. Nostalgia washes over you as you recall how laughter helped diffuse the situation, allowing for genuine connection and understanding. Now let's explore the curiosity that arises when we think about how to develop this skill. How can we cultivate a sense of humor that feels authentic to us? It begins with self-awareness. Pay attention to your reactions to everyday absurdities, the little quirks of life that might otherwise pass you by. Embrace your imperfections and learn to laugh at yourself. It's a practice that not only fosters humility, but also invites others to connect with you on a more personal level. When you can poke fun at your own mistakes, you create an atmosphere where others feel safe to share theirs. But there's also a deeper layer to nurturing your wit. It's about timing and context. 
Humor isn't always appropriate, and knowing when to lighten the mood requires discernment. This raises questions. How do you gauge the right moment to inject humor into a serious conversation? What strategies can you use to ensure that your wit enhances rather than detracts from important discussions? This exploration of wit invites you to consider how it can be a bridge in relationships, connecting you to others in meaningful ways. As you embark on this journey of nurturing your wit, remember that it doesn't mean you have to be the life of the party. It's about maintaining a perspective that helps you navigate life with grace. Whether it's sharing a laugh with friends or finding humor in your own challenges, nurturing your wit can be a transformative practice. So, embrace the lightness, let your laughter flow, and watch as it enriches your connections and enhances your overall well-being. 5. The Power of Respect Picture a world where respect is the foundation of every interaction. It's a place where differences are acknowledged and every voice is valued. Imagine the relief and comfort that comes from knowing you are treated with dignity, regardless of your opinions or status. The happiness that stems from being respected and extending that respect to others creates an environment where genuine connection flourishes. Doesn't that feeling of mutual respect uplift your spirit? It fosters a sense of belonging that resonates deeply within us. Yet, as we dig deeper into the power of respect, it's essential to recognize that it isn't simply given, it's cultivated. Reflect on your relationships with others. When have you felt truly respected? Was it during a thoughtful conversation where your opinions were valued? Or perhaps when someone listened intently, making you feel seen and heard? These memories evoke nostalgia for times when connection felt effortless, highlighting the importance of treating others with the same respect you wish to receive. This leads us to a crucial aspect of respect, the ability to disagree without being disagreeable. Think about the challenges we face in a polarized world where differing opinions can lead to hostility. How can we navigate those waters while still honoring our own beliefs? It's a common struggle, and the curiosity surrounding this question is palpable. How do we remain true to ourselves while also showing respect to others? This exploration invites you to consider the balance between standing firm in your convictions and maintaining an open heart. The Stoic philosophers understood this well, advocating for calmness and reason in discussions. Imagine the power of approaching a disagreement with respect and empathy, seeking to understand rather than to win. When you focus on the issue rather than the person, you create a space for constructive dialogue. This shift in perspective fosters a culture of respect where differences become opportunities for growth and understanding. As you navigate your interactions, remember that respect is a two-way street. When you show respect to others, you invite them to reciprocate. Simple gestures, listening attentively, acknowledging someone's efforts, or even being punctual, contribute to a culture of respect. It's a practice that strengthens relationships, both personally and professionally, reminding us that we are all part of a larger community. 6. Setting clear boundaries. Imagine standing at the edge of a peaceful garden, a beautiful sanctuary that reflects your inner world. This space is protected by clear boundaries, fences that keep out negativity and allow only positive energy to flow in. Setting boundaries is essential for maintaining our peace and well-being, yet it's something many of us struggle with. The initial relief of establishing limits can be exhilarating, can't it? It's a step toward reclaiming your power and protecting your inner garden. However, the deeper truth lies in the understanding that boundaries aren't walls, they're guidelines that help us navigate relationships and commitments. Think back to a time when you felt overwhelmed by obligations. Perhaps it was a friend who consistently asked for favors, or a work situation that demanded more than you could give. Those memories evoke a sense of nostalgia, 
for the times when you felt free and in control of your life. Establishing clear boundaries can bring back that sense of autonomy. As you reflect on the importance of boundaries, consider the questions that arise. How do you determine your limits? What are your non-negotiables? It's a personal journey that invites you to explore your values and priorities. Understanding what you're comfortable with is crucial for setting effective boundaries. This exploration can feel daunting, but it's also empowering. When you take the time to identify your limits, you create a roadmap for how you wish to engage with the world. Communicating those boundaries is where the real challenge lies. It can be uncomfortable to assert your needs, especially if you fear disappointing others. But here's the truth. Setting boundaries is an act of self-respect. You don't have to justify your decisions a simple respectful no is enough. This realization brings a sense of curiosity about how others will respond. Will they respect your boundaries? More often than not, people appreciate clarity and your willingness to communicate your needs can strengthen relationships. Consistency is key in maintaining boundaries. Think of the trust that develops when you stick to your limits. Others begin to recognize where you stand, creating an environment of mutual respect. But remember, boundaries aren't just about protecting yourself, they're also about respecting others' limits. This mutual understanding fosters a healthier, more balanced dynamic in relationships. 7. Cutting out negative energy. Visualize a space filled with light and positivity, where each interaction uplifts your spirit and inspires growth. Now, consider the shadows that creep in, negative energy that drains your motivation and clouds your joy. Cutting out negative energy is essential for creating that vibrant space. It might seem daunting at first, but the happiness that comes from reclaiming your mental space is worth the effort. Let's dive deeper into what negative energy really looks like. It can manifest in relationships, environments, or even within ourselves. Think back to a time when you felt weighed down by negativity. Perhaps it was a friend who constantly complained, or an environment that stifled your creativity. Those moments stir a sense of nostalgia for times when you felt light and free, reminding you of the importance of surrounding yourself with positivity. The curiosity here lies in identifying the sources of negative energy in your life. Who are the people that uplift you and who drains your energy? This self-reflection invites you to take a closer look at your relationships and assess their impact on your well-being. It can be difficult to let go of toxic connections, especially if they've been a part of your life for a long time. But remember, prioritizing your mental health is not selfish, it's necessary for your growth. Beyond relationships, consider your internal dialogue. Are you often critical of yourself? Do negative thoughts cloud your perspective? This self-talk is a significant source of negative energy and challenging it is crucial. When you catch yourself spiraling into negativity, pause and redirect your focus. Shift your thoughts from I can't to I can. This simple change in mindset can open up new possibilities and create a more positive outlook. Your environment also plays a significant role in your mental state. Reflect on the spaces you inhabit. Are they cluttered and chaotic or calm and organized? A messy environment can contribute to feelings of stress and negativity. Take small steps to declutter your space, creating an atmosphere that fosters clarity and positivity. As you tidy up, notice how your mood shifts, making room for creativity and growth. Cutting out negative energy is about intentionality. Identify habits that drain your energy, whether it's mindless scrolling through social media or procrastinating on tasks. Replace those habits with positive activities that nourish your mind and body, like reading, exercising, or simply taking time to rest. This journey isn't about achieving perfection, it's about creating a life that aligns with your values and aspirations. 8. 
The impact of self-respect. Picture yourself standing tall, a sense of confidence radiating from within. That feeling of self-respect is empowering, isn't it? It's the knowledge that you are worthy of love, kindness and dignity. When you respect yourself, it reflects in your interactions and decisions. The happiness that comes from honoring your worth can transform your life, leading to healthier relationships and opportunities. But let's dive deeper into what self-respect truly means. It goes beyond surface level confidence. It's about understanding your value and setting standards for how you allow others to treat you. Think back to a time when you stood up for yourself. Maybe it was in a difficult conversation or when you chose to walk away from a toxic situation. Those moments evoke a sense of nostalgia for times when you felt empowered and in control of your life. Curiosity arises as you consider the foundations of self-respect. What practices can you adopt to cultivate this sense of worthiness? It starts with self-awareness. Take a moment to reflect on your values and what makes you unique. Embrace your strengths and acknowledge your weaknesses without judgment. This journey of self-discovery fosters a deeper understanding of who you are, paving the way for greater self-respect. Establishing boundaries is a vital component of self-respect. As you set limits in your relationships, you send a powerful message to yourself and others you deserve to be treated with kindness and consideration. This clarity reinforces your worth, creating an environment where you can thrive. The more you practice self-respect, the more natural it becomes to demand respect from others. However, it's important to recognize that self-respect is a continuous journey. There will be times when self-doubt creeps in, and that's okay. Acknowledge those feelings without allowing them to define you. Surround yourself with positive influences, people who uplift and encourage you. Their support can serve as a reminder of your worth, helping you stay grounded in your journey of self-respect. Ultimately, the impact of self-respect extends far beyond yourself. When you honor your worth, you inspire others to do the same. Your confidence and authenticity become a beacon of hope for those around you, creating a ripple effect of positivity. 9. Embracing humor in challenges. Imagine facing a daunting challenge, the weight of uncertainty heavy on your shoulders. Now picture yourself finding a moment of levity, a light-hearted joke that brings a smile to your face. The ability to embrace humor in difficult situations can shift your perspective, transforming challenges into opportunities for growth. The happiness that arises from laughter, even in tough times, is a powerful reminder of our resilience. But what does it mean to truly embrace humor when life gets tough? It's about finding the silver lining and allowing yourself to laugh at the absurdity of it all. Think back to a time when humor helped you navigate a challenge. Perhaps it was a stressful day at work that turned into a comical series of mishaps. Those memories evoke nostalgia for the moments when laughter lightened the load, allowing you to face adversity with a smile. As we explore this concept further, curiosity arises. How can we cultivate a sense of humor that helps us through tough times? It begins with perspective. Train your mind to look for the humor in everyday situations. When faced with a setback, ask yourself, what's the funny side of this? This shift in mindset can transform frustration into laughter, enabling you to approach challenges with a more positive outlook. Another important aspect of embracing humor is the ability to connect with others. Sharing a laugh can create bonds that transcend difficulties. Think about the times when humor brought you closer to friends or family, easing tensions and fostering a sense of camaraderie. Those moments remind us that we're not alone in our struggles. By sharing laughter, we create a safe space for vulnerability and support. It's also essential to remember that humor doesn't diminish the seriousness of a situation. Rather, it adds a layer of resilience. 
Life can be unpredictable and overwhelming, but finding moments of joy amidst the chaos allows us to regain our footing. This curiosity about how humor can coexist with seriousness invites deeper reflection on our coping mechanisms. How can we honor our feelings while still embracing laughter? As you navigate challenges, make it a point to surround yourself with people who share your sense of humor. Their positivity can help you see the lighter side of life. Whether it's a friend who knows just how to make you laugh or a favorite comedian whose work lifts your spirits, these influences can be invaluable in tough times. 10. Intentional Energy Management Imagine your energy as a finite resource, much like a battery that needs to be charged regularly. As you navigate the demands of daily life, how you manage that energy can significantly impact your happiness and well-being. Intentional energy management is about being conscious of where you direct your energy and ensuring that it aligns with your values and goals. The relief that comes from taking control of your energy levels can be transformative, allowing you to pursue your passions with vigor. Delving deeper, let's consider what intentional energy management looks like in practice. It begins with self-awareness. Think back to a time when you felt utterly drained. Perhaps it was due to excessive work commitments or social obligations that didn't align with your priorities. Those memories evoke a sense of nostalgia for times when you felt energized and motivated, highlighting the importance of being mindful about where you invest your energy. Curiosity arises when you reflect on your energy sources. What activities leave you feeling rejuvenated and which ones deplete your vitality? This self-exploration is crucial. Create a list of activities that energize you, whether it's exercising, spending time with loved ones, or pursuing hobbies, and prioritize them in your schedule. By intentionally incorporating these activities, you can recharge and maintain a positive outlook. Another important aspect of energy management is recognizing the influence of your environment. Are you surrounded by people who inspire and uplift you, or are you in situations that drain your energy? Take a moment to assess your surroundings. Making changes, whether it's reducing time spent with negative influences or creating a more inspiring workspace, can have a profound effect on your energy levels. Time management also plays a crucial role in intentional energy management. Consider how you allocate your time throughout the day. Are you allowing for breaks and moments of self-care, or are you constantly pushing through? Scheduling downtime is essential for recharging your energy. It's not a sign of weakness, it's a strategy for sustaining your well-being. As you embrace intentional energy management, Remember that it's an ongoing process. Life will always present challenges that can drain your energy, but your response to those challenges is what matters. By consciously managing your energy, you create a life that aligns with your values and aspirations. Embrace this journey with curiosity and self-compassion, knowing that each step forward brings you closer to a more fulfilling and energized life. If you've made it this far, Drop a hundred in the comments. This shows that you're part of the rare 0.01% who finish what they start. An impressive achievement in today's fast-paced world. Remember, every step you take toward nurturing your wit, setting boundaries and managing your energy is a step toward a more empowered version of yourself. If you're serious about transforming your life and embracing these powerful strategies, Make sure to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Together, we can continue exploring the principles that lead to a more fulfilling and resilient existence. Thank you for being here, and let's keep moving forward on this journey of growth.